Sakaya and Ubuntu, welcome to this Nova Sutra's cross-quarter celebration. The astronomical cross-quarter moment is Wednesday, November 7th, 2018 at 1118 UTC. So start this recording on the hour at 11 UTC to synchronize with our global meditation. Again, welcome to our cross-quarter celebration. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. For this session, please do arrange yourself for a meditation session. If you can, find a comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. And while we're settling in, I'll talk a little bit more about the cross-quarter. I'll tell you a little about the Nova Sutras movement and explain about Agaya and Ubuntu. Then, after a few minutes, we'll start our guided meditation. I'll help you get into a calm, relaxed, and meditative state. Then I'll let you know the time of the cross quarter. And for a few minutes, we'll all really focus on reverence and loving kindness on Agaya and Ubuntu for the world. After we finish out the meditation, I'll talk a bit more about the Nova Sutras movement, our goals, our values, and how you can participate. So today at 1118 UTC is the specific moment when we are at the midpoint between the September equinox and the December solstice as the Earth orbits the Sun. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's the middle of autumn. The September equinox is the start of fall, and the December solstice marks the beginning of winter. At this cross-quarter point, the days are growing shorter and colder. Many festivals around this time, Halloween, Tzawin, Dia de los Muertos, focus on mortality and the interplay of life and death that can be so evident, as trees are losing their leaves and annual plants are dying back in this time of transition. The seasons change and differences are related to the orbit of the Earth around our Sun and how the northern and southern hemispheres are sometimes tilted toward the Sun and sometimes tilted away from the Sun. In Nova Sutras, we celebrate the solstices, equinoxes, and cross quarters because these are amazing planetary phenomena about the interaction of our home planet and our sun. This is science-based. All humans can agree on this. Many religious traditions do include some celebration associated with these eight key times of the year. In the Northern Hemisphere, festivals around this time, such as Halloween, Samhain, and Dia de los Muertos, focus on mortality and the interplay of life and death that can be so evident at this time, as trees are losing their leaves and annual plants are dying back in this time of transitions. Diwali, or Dipavali, is a Hindu festival of light that symbolizes a spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, knowledge over ignorance. And the major celebrations are on November 7th this year. In the Southern Hemisphere, it is mid-spring and more suited to festivals celebrating the emergence of new life. Now I'd like to talk just a little bit about Nova Sutras and in particular these terms Agaya, Ubuntu, and what they mean to us. Agaya is a new term intended as an expression of the deep, sacred beauty of the universe. Ubuntu in Nova Sutras, expands on this South African term that represents the connections between all things, binding us together in the more than human world with reverence, joy, generosity, gratitude, and loving kindness. The Nova Sutras movement seeks to promote Agaya and Ubuntu. We honor the principles that all of nature is sacred and should be treated with reverence and loving kindness. That change is essential, inevitable, and important in all life. That complexity and maturity emerge from cooperative relationships. And that the beauty of the living world is to be savored, honored, celebrated, and protected. 
as we move through our meditation practice, I will let you know when we approach the minute of the cross quarter and invite you to focus very specifically with a Gaia and Ubuntu at that point in time. I'll be talking you through that. But first, to open this as a sacred space, we will do a practice that combines what Buddhists might recognize as a form of metta and practitioners of various neo-pagan or indigenous religions might recognize as calling the corners or calling the quarters. You can do this while standing and moving or just sitting and thinking, whichever is more comfortable for you right now. We'll start with where the sun is now in its nearest cardinal direction. It's morning here in North America, so the sun is in the east. I'll go around the compass directions following the path of the sun, east to south to west, then north, then also up and down. Then we'll start with ourselves as the center and radiate out. Please follow along out loud if you like, or just think and feel through it, sending your wishes out in that direction or that space. May all beings to the east abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the south abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the west abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the north abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings above abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings beneath abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the great tree and kelp beings that connect above and beneath abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May I abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings nearby abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in this watershed abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in this bioregion abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings on this continent abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in the nearest ocean abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in my hemisphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in Earth's biosphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all life everywhere in the universe abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. Now you are invited to find a comfortable place to sit Place your feet firmly on the floor or sit cross-legged. Feel your connection with the earth beneath you. Rest your hands gently on your knees so your arms are comfortable at your sides with your elbows at a relaxed angle. Hold your spine upright and feel your connection to beings above you. Once you're sitting comfortably, take a deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. 
Now slowly and completely exhale. Inhale slowly through your nose, noticing the feeling of air moving past your nostrils and down into your lungs. Hold and slowly release the breath. Continue to take slow, comfortable breaths at your own pace. Feel how your chest and belly move and relax as you exhale, how they expand and rise as you inhale. As you take your next slow, deep breath in, hold it for a moment and savor the feeling of this breath nourishing your relaxed body. Exhale gently and slowly, inviting any tension remaining in your body to leave with your breath. Repeat this nourishing breath in, hold it briefly, and slowly exhale completely to fully release tension and cleanse your lungs. Continue to take deep, relaxing breaths as we begin to more profoundly welcome in Ubuntu and Agaya. Consideration of Ubuntu helps us expand our awareness of our connections, our interbeing with others. Consider those people with whom you have experienced connection. Think of people that you love, people that love you, people who have just given you some kindness, and people you have treated with kindness and compassion. Now consider other beings in the more than human world whose life has enriched your own. With every breath in, you take in nourishing oxygen that some plant exhaled. Then you exhale carbon dioxide that will nourish other photosynthesizers. All your food was once alive and that life nourishes you. This is interbeing at its deepest level. This is what we call Ubuntu. Everywhere in the world, these interconnections exist. As you breathe in, allow yourself to feel these connections of Ubuntu. As you breathe out, send your gratitude for them along those radiating interconnections. This gratitude to other beings with whom we share connection is just one facet of what we call a Gaia. A Gaia is also the deep sense of wonder and appreciation we feel when we look at the brilliant colors of fall leaves, when we see a bird fly gracefully overhead, when we hear the crash of the surf, when we gaze up into a clear night sky filled with distant stars. Agaya is our profound connection to the sacred beauty of our entire universe. Agaya can inspire feelings of humbleness and yet also feelings of expansive pride and great joy. As you slowly inhale, 
Invite this sacred joy of Agaya into the center of your being. Hold it for a moment. Then as you release your breath, send with it your feelings of humble gratitude to spread out into the world. This particular cross quarter is a special time for us to come together in meditation. It is also the dark of the moon. When the moon overhead is invisible, right next to the sun. Just as the moon orbits the earth, the earth is traveling around the sun in a wide ellipse. The sun is traveling as well, orbiting the gravitational center of our galaxy. So the moon, the earth, and all the other planets and moons of our solar system move along with the moving sun, forming a beautiful path, a set of winding helices through space-time. How does it feel to be on this lovely sphere in a spiral dance around our sun as we travel around the heart of our galaxy? How does it feel to know that every atom in your body, just as in everything on Earth, was once in the heart of a star that died, a star whose ashes formed our own solar system? How does it feel to know that something as simple and elegant as a leaf can capture the light from our sun and turn it into sugars, into sweetness and sustenance, and the structures of life itself. In less than a minute, we will reach the cross quarter. From an earthly perspective, the sun will be directly overhead at latitude 16 degrees and 20 minutes south, longitude six degrees, 25 minutes east. This is in the Atlantic Ocean, off the west coast of Africa, near the border of Angola and Namibia. Envision how that looks and feels right now, where a brilliant midday sun is directly over the vast blue Atlantic Ocean. Were you standing on a becalmed sailboat there? The mast would cast no shadow. Imagine taking the warmth and shimmering radiance of the sun overhead and transforming it into loving kindness, into Ubuntu and a Gaia. Now imagine Ubuntu and Agaya shining forth through you, from your heart out into the world. Know that you are surrounded by community, that everyone meditating right now is there with you, that we are all radiating Ubuntu and the Gaia. Together, we shine Ubuntu and a Gaia across the deep and sparkling immensity of the ocean. Together, we shine Ubuntu and a Gaia to every place on earth, now touched by the light of this cross quarter sun. Together, we shine Agaya and Ubuntu out to touch all those in the dark of night right now, all around the world. Together, we shine the light of Ubuntu and Agaya across the universe from our beautiful little home world. Together, we inhale Ubuntu and exhale Agaya. 
together. We inhale Agaya and exhale Ubuntu. Inhale, wonder and joy. Exhale, gratefulness for interconnection. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Inhale, Agaya. Exhale, Ubuntu. Now, inhale, Ubuntu. Hold that feeling of interconnection. Then exhale, Agaya, to spread joy and wonder into the universe. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Inhale, Ubuntu. Exhale, Agaya. Extend these experiences of Agaya and Ubuntu and offer them as a gift to the whole world. When you are ready, you may open your eyes and allow yourself to gently return to the here and now. You should come into a state of calm attention, energized by your contemplation of Ubuntu and Agaya through the moment of the cross quarter. Take this time to thank yourself and then to thank all of our participants online and off, for sharing in this worldwide meditation. We in the Nova Sutras community thank you for taking this step toward wellness and awareness for the whole world. We thank you for all that you do as an agent for change, Ubuntu and Agaya. Now I'd like to talk for a bit about the Nova Sutras movement. The Nova Sutras movement is now one year old. Our main intention is to invite the power of community to transform global civilizations into expressions of Nova Sutras core values. So we begin to live in a world of Ubuntu and Agaya. Our goals for this next orbit of the sun include organizing local celebrations for equinoxes and solstices. Now is the time to begin planning for the December solstice, which will be Friday, December 21st at 2222 Universal Time. 
please get in contact at novasutras.org or on the Novasutras Facebook page or Twitter if you want to host a local celebration. Other things we still want to do include developing a working wiki of Nova Sutra's philosophy, research, and practices. We hope to grow Nova Sutra's communities in at least 30 countries and inspire worldwide conversations about community based on Agaya and Ubuntu. It's our intention to hold a major global celebration for the June 2019 solstice and to freely distribute a million printed books about Nova Sutras in the following year. As we build momentum, the Nova Sutras movement hopes to bring people together to defend and protect the environment, Agaya, and the Ubuntu, to respond to disasters and rebuild after disasters, to support social justice causes, to promote education and the preservation of knowledge and culture, and of course, to spread joy and celebration. How do you want to participate? The Nova Sutras movement needs all different kinds of help to make this happen. We need people to share information about the movement to help it grow. We need creators who might write blog posts, make videos, make music or images. We need collaborators to work together, help us get a wiki set up, help build the Nova Sutras calendar, editing videos, blog posts, getting started on other Nova Sutras projects, planning and staging celebrations or other events. We need people who are ready to celebrate and want to express their joy with Agaya and Ubuntu through making masks, costumes, banners, flyers, food, whatever else is needed to help the celebration be joyful. We need people who can offer their space to host celebrations, meetings, or small gatherings. We need people who might be able to donate video cameras, microphones, materials for celebrations. We need people who would be interested in buying Nova Sutras items like posters, t-shirts, reusable cups and bags from our Redbubble site. And we need people who are willing and able to directly contribute funds to support the costs of our efforts and help us build the movement. What are some of the projects you'd like to begin as we move ahead? How would you like to join in? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. We can support each other and hold one another accountable for working toward our intentions. Thank you for joining in this Nova Sutras event. And thank you for all that you do in the world as an agent for change, Ubuntu, and Agaya.